What led me to quilting was my wife nagging me. She kept saying, you gotta go see it, you gotta go see it, you gotta go see it. And I said, quilts, yeah, whatever. And then I went in. What is juxtapassion? And where did that word come from? Well, I made it up because I read a lot about art and I often see people talking about juxtaposing. Juxtapose this, juxtapose that. Juxtaposing is a little bit limiting in that you're placing things side by side for a contrasting effect, where what I strive to do is place things side by side to sort of garner an emotional response or an emotional effect. What led me to quilting was my wife nagging me. From 1992 to 1997, she kept saying, you gotta go see it, you gotta go see it, you gotta go see it. And I said, quilts, yeah, whatever. And then I went in and I said, oh, wow, look at these works. They're sculptural and there are aspects of painting and there are aspects of photo transfer and aspects of photography. And I looked at him and I said, okay, how would I make one of these? passions that motivate me or inspire me to create are many and complicated. I mean, one of the allure is I, I do have a sort of gambler's personality where I think of an idea and I think, oh, that's going to be really tricky to pull off. And I like the challenge of, you know, will it work or won't it? Where it would be safer to not try at all, sort of toil through life and do things in a, you know, more logical way as opposed to a more emotional approach to it. I like the challenge of putting together things and then all of a sudden it surprises you what you're creating, where you didn't think you were gonna get there, you get there and it's way different, but way better than you had envisioned in, in your mind. Another passion that motivates me is that art for me is a way to express a complex idea. And it's not just the idea in the moment, it's the idea now and the idea 10 years from now and the idea 20 years from now. Like I go back and look at some of the things I created 20 years ago and I say, well, that meant something to me back at that time. And now it means something entirely different, but it's still meaningful in that it was created and it's not something that was so hammered out. I hope that people viewing my art can take away something personal to them. My goal is a lot of times not to make things too black and white, is to make things a little bit ambiguous, not to pick things that are so polarizing topic wise, but something that will make you sort of stop and think about things. A lot of times I like to inject humor into, or puns into the work so that it sort of disarms the viewer. They can come in and sort of laugh at something and not say, oh, this is about this or this is about that. And they can ask themselves questions. Okay, what does this mean to me? And I find that fulfilling in the work as well.